Hi, this is Sean Carney, the President and CEO of 40 Days for Life. We continue to be in uh, Roe versus Wade limbo as we await the Supreme Court to release the final overturning of Roe versus Wade. But it's been awesome because the whole country's discussing abortion. And as we've seen the last 50 years, the pro-life side, this is about life and death. We follow the science, we follow reason, and we talk about abortion. We're more equipped now to discuss abortion as science has proven a lot of our points over the decades than we've ever been. But the other side, abortion advocates who have spent so much time avoiding this issue, living in vague rhetoric about a, you know, protecting, a, ma making abortion safe, legal, and rare, and a, you know, abortion is between a woman and her doctor, and we believe in reproductive rights, and we believe in healthcare. And what the Supreme Court did is they made it very personal and they gave it back to the states to decide. And now we're talking about abortion and the other side is extremely ill-equipped. We'll cover that in future vlogs, uh, just some of the bizarre, common, and dumb things that are being said. Um, but there's another side to it, and that is some people are actually thinking about abortion and, and they don't know what they're talking about and they're realizing that. And we've been saying that a lot, the other side does not know what they're talking about. It's one of the, not in a condescending way, but just through the actual, it's just an actual fact. They don't acknowledge the humanity of the baby. They, 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 don't, they don't know what they're talking about. They just think that abortion should be legal. Well, now they're having to discuss it and we see a little bit, uh, a, a small portion of the pro-abortion crowd uh, getting a little woke on, on abortion and not the disingenuous corporate virtue signaling woke that we've seen since 2020, but an actual woke where they're, they're thinking about abortion and they're, they're realizing how extreme America is. And uh, bring in Bill Maher, who by far, uh, you know, was probably the last person that I thought uh, would be saying anything halfway reasonable during this time after the leak. Uh, but I want to share some of his comments that he said on his show on HBO. I learned things this week because this put it on the front page that are pretty basic things that I did not know yeah. about abortion. Like in Europe, the modern countries of Europe, way more restrictive than we are or what they're even proposing. If you are pro-choice, you would like it a lot less in Germany and Italy and France and Spain and Switzerland. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Now, for years, we have said that Roe v. Wade puts the United States in a very small and shameful category, allowing abortion through all 40 weeks. Uh, you know, we're in a category with North Korea, China, Vietnam, and Canada. And most people don't know that. Or when you point it out, they say, well, it's the law of the land. Or they say, well, that's not true. Um, and Bill Maher here is a good example of somebody who's realizing that if you took Italy or France and you put them in the United States, they'd be one of the most conservative pro-life states uh, in the union, restricting abortions uh, at 12 weeks. And there, it's one thing to learn that. It's another thing to say, you didn't know that and that America is in fact extreme on abortion and you didn't realize that. Right, okay. Um, I, did, I learned most people who are pro-life are women. Did not know that. When he discussed, uh, when Bill Maher then discussed uh, those who are saying that, you know, Roe v. Wade has settled law, he, he went off on that. that. This whole bullshit argument about, well, it's settled law, so was uh, segregation. Right. right. Plessy versus Ferguson was settled law in 1896, and thank God somebody said, let's unsettle it. <laughs> so it's not, that's a bullshit argument. One of the new... I guess, dispositions that the pro-abortion side is having with their insane reaction to this leak is, next, the Supreme Court is gonna come after fill in the blank of whatever group in America you want. Uh, it's often minorities or whoever, but one of the things floating around out there is they, Alito, I heard this said, Alito is gonna start coming after interracial marriages. And I'm sure that's going to happen. I'm sure Alito is going to leave his house this weekend and start uh, going door to door and arresting people who are part of an interracial marriage. I've told some of my friends who are in an interracial marriage, look out, Alito's coming for you. Sounds totally reasonable. Uh, Thomas, by the way, is 
is in a interracial marriage himself, Justice Thomas. Uh, and Bill Maher points that out. But Clarence Thomas is... It's an interracial marriage. Do you think Clarence Thomas? I, I just, <laughs> I feel like, a, when I, I yeah, guess I'm what just... I'm saying is I, I really feel like abortion is unique. It is. People, it is because people either, you know, you just have this view that it's murder. I could put the argument on a hat when people talk about a woman's right. Murder isn't a right. If you think it's murder, I don't. Again, crazy me. <laughs> but... <laughs> So he obviously doesn't think that uh, uh, abortion is murder, and in some ways uh, you can't if you uh, support abortion. And what we know is, is uh, in what the abortion industry and the abortion doctors themselves, which we covered on an earlier vlog, uh, tell us that it's not that abortion could be murder or some people think it's murder, it's that abortion has to be murder. Uh, that's required for an abortion to be uh, successful. The baby uh, has to be killed and the baby is, is not, hasn't committed a crime. They, they didn't just you know, get off a death row and were, were executing them. They are in fact innocent. And so it is indeed murder. It, it has to be murder. That doesn't mean we run around and call women who had an abortion a murderer because that's not effective and it's not the approach of 40 Days for Life. But a murder is required in a successful abortion. If you don't murder the baby, then he or she is gonna continue to live, which is going against the will of, of the parents and the doctor and, and abortion advocates. And so uh, this is, these are the, the, the inconsistencies that we see, but we also see basic common sense in some of Bill Maher's uh, comments, a sentence I never thought I would say, uh, not because you know Alito's opinion was so brilliant, and it is brilliant and you need to read it, but because they are in the desert of thought when it comes to abortion. They simply haven't thought about it uh, for decades. Now they're having to think about it. They're not well educated on, on the issue of abortion itself. They support it. It's typically a passive support and now they're having to have an active support and they're ill-equipped. And so uh, equip yourselves, know what to say, listen to our podcast, listen to the vlog, get the book, What to Say When, uh, which is kind of taken off again uh, because of abortion just being in the news, but be equipped because you don't have to go to Harvard Medical School to discuss abortion. It's quite easy and we do it not because we wanna be know-it-alls and, and stick it to the other side, quite the opposite. We do it because people convert and, and they have a change of mind and they, ch they have a change of heart and we have seen that time and time again on the sidewalks with abortion facility workers, with women considering abortion and with just staunch in-your-face abortion advocates, people change their minds on this issue. And it is uh, inevitable that as this opinion comes out and we get into the summer, that more people will be uh, open, God willing, to changing their minds uh, on this great issue. And God will use you uh, as a vessel for that if you let them.